Tout le monde veut l'argent. Tout le monde veut Everyone wants money. Voilà Everyone wants fortune. That's why we try to work. But if God has to give me one billion francs, and I can't give 50 million to a young person to help him do something without going out, I pray to God that he doesn't give me that billion. I wish that it's the same for all the youth, that we never let money take over. We are hungry, we are poor, we have everything. But human dignity is worth nothing. I think I did not do wrong to come and talk to you. I am very happy to be here. There is a concerning issue for everyone. The security issue. The universities, Dori, Waiwia, Fada. All these universities that are in the red zones. The question is still in my mind, but there is a solution in the course. I admit that it is right away that I learned that it has been more than a year that there is no course at the university in Dori. I admit it anyway. I just learned it. I did not know that it lasted so long. What is there for the security of these institutions and of all the villages? What I can tell you today, if you have noticed, the first measures that we took were to increase our recruits. So, the VDP, we increased the workforce by making two classes, the municipal VDP and the national VDP. This means that the municipals will remain in their communes to defend and the nationals will be able to be employed everywhere. The idea is also to gradually convert the youngest to the army after a period of combat. Concerning the army, I think that there is currently a recruitment of about 6,000 men, if I am not mistaken, and there will be more, because the challenge of the workforce is the most important. Combat has reached a level where we can no longer afford to put small workforce on the ground. So, we have increased the recruitment and the training is in progress. At the same time, the equipment is in the process of acquisition so that when they finish their training, they can be immediately hired to secure a certain number of localities. So, the question of security is summed up first with a question of workforce, a question of equipment, which is in the course of resolution because a fighter is not trained in two weeks, three weeks. He needs a minimum of knowledge that he must acquire in order to be able to face. Also, the enemy firepower is quite high. We are equipping ourselves to respond at least five to seven times more than its firepower in order to be able to dominate with our workforce. So, I can assure you that at the end of the training of these people, which should not take long, the priority will be put on these cities that carry the universities 
and also to have the presence around the universities so that you are not yet affected in your academic activities. This will be our priority. Regarding Thomas Sankara, the concern has already been raised by your staff, and instructions have already been given to the Minister of Security to generate a force that must be immediately deployed there. Regarding Dori, Waiwia, and the other centers, you must have noticed that we have redivided the territory because we were in three regions, and this does not allow us to efficiently coordinate. We have redivided, and we have created what we call force groups. And I think that for those who are in Dori, they must soon see the evolution. Why we are as well. I even saw a march the day before yesterday to demand more security. This is normal. In the hours to come, you will also see what will happen around. So currently, we cannot detail the entire strategy that is in place. But the tactical part, we are putting everything in place so that the units can face it. And besides, the units are, by the heart they have, they are proving something exceptional to face the minimum that they have. But we are also putting everything in place so that they have the necessary equipment. So, if I can give you a date so that you can resume the course, I cannot say at what date exactly. But I can tell you that by the month of February, normally a wave must have finished its formation and that we will inject on the ground. They finish at the end of January, and in February, they will be injected on the ground. And I cannot say that we start with Dori or Waiwia or Dedugu or all these central areas, but we are not going to detail the plan here, but we will do everything so that in the days to come, you will be safe and that you can return and resume the course. This is what I can assure you. And this goes for all universities. Concerning the question of Nazi Boni, I think it is related to all universities. The number of seats is insufficient. And the cities, with the PDI today, it is not easy. I recognize it. I know that many students also have their parents displaced, and it makes the task difficult. The parents cannot support, and it is you who are now obliged to support. I recognize that all this is complicated, but the corollary of all this is this war. And we must fight so that in the days to come, the temperature can drop and allow people to resume their activities so that everyone can support each other. The PDI students, we will try to take this into account. Not only the students, but all the PDIs. Today, we are launching a call. As you may have noticed, there are many communes. We are making efforts to supply food, because this is what people are looking for, to eat first. We have the chance that it does not rain first, but we must be able to satisfy this need for nutrition in all the PDIs. Efforts are being made on this right now. We are looking for as many trucks as possible. Men are ready to engage, especially when it comes to bringing food to the populations. They have no fatigue, they have no respite. And then we will also think about relocating, redefining the employment of certain PDIs. And as for the students, it will be for us to find ways so that these people can integrate into the student society and be able to resume their studies. The challenge is enormous. I recognize it. There is a chancellery that asked me the question, how dare you to take such a country? I said, it is my country. There is no courage that we have to take. La question des infrastructures, c'est connu, les laboratoires, les bibliothèques, l'Internet, l'Internet... The question of infrastructures is known. Laboratories, libraries, the Internet. I think the Internet will be solved. Fortunately, the minister is here. 
She heard it well. I think for the University of Ouagadougou, it is a concern. Optical fiber, the work is in progress. I think the connection is good. I hope that by June, it will be okay for the internet issue. I hope so. Pour les laboratoires et les autres effets, j'ai discuté dernièrement donc avec un certain For laboratories and other effects, I recently discussed with a number of ministers about the new cooperation we want with certain countries. Every time we go to a country for a new cooperation, I like to include the teaching sector so that we can find scholarships so that the students can go and perfect themselves in certain technologies and come back. And above all, so that we can acquire laboratory materials. Parce que moi-même je viens d'ici, j'ai fait la géologie et je sais ce que c'est que le laboratoire. Because I myself come from here, I did geology and I know what a laboratory is. So, I know that in all areas, you need it. And in our future partnerships, we focus on that so that we can re-equip our universities, our schools, so that the students can really it is through this that you can really look for and develop something new. How to adapt education? This is a very good question. I answered the question with the teachers. In Burkina Faso, the new Minister of Youth who was installed received a mission yesterday to be able to, with his comrades from higher education and from the APL, from basic education, to reform the educational system. Because in Burkina Faso, we finish the terminal, the destination is the university. Why not, at that interval, to be able to professionalize the training, so that from one level, others can be directly employed, and that the university is a choice and not necessarily... It is a process that has started. He received the mission, so he will quickly get to work with his other comrades to make this reform. Concerning the enrollment to be VDP, I am very moved, very happy to see that we do not want it, but I saw in a country at a given level of war. They had to close the universities, enroll the students, train them, and face the threat. We hope that we will not get to this situation. I am particularly happy to see that there are fighters here, that this rage still exists among the students. It is very good. We will study to see, but we do not want to engage you to take Kalashnikovs. But we will engage you to see how to make Kalashnikovs. Returning to the concerns of the Thomas Ankara University, this is a concern that was also raised at the level of the teachers, and it is something that I followed. I think that in October there was a fatal accident on the road. On Friday, I took the road to go to the VDB training center. I was able to notice the narrowness of this road, so... From this week, I will see with the Ministry of Infrastructure what can be done in the emergency so that the road becomes a two-lane road, at least. And also, I was saying, for the security, this is already taken into account. Returning to the question of patriotism, well, fortunately it comes from you. I wish that patriotism is the thing that encourages you the most. Nothing is worth the country. And already, this youth has understood that our country, we will never find ourselves elsewhere and be at home. It is at home here. And those who do not want to fight for the country, I think you know them. 
I do not want you to be violent towards them, but we must observe them like this, continue to play their game. But we will find the means to go with the patriots towards the enlightenment of our country. And this is a phenomenon very important, especially since people have asked to bring back civic education at universities. But we will find the formula to at least achieve the level of patriotism of the youth, so that people do not follow the footsteps of some people who have really lost everything. Now, regarding the issue of the guarantee of the population of the liberated areas, I cannot tell you here. If I tell you, it is public. If it is me, the enemy, I will adapt. Do you understand? There are many things that cannot be said publicly because we contribute to inform the enemy to prepare to counter what we are doing. So we prefer to reserve it for surprises. But remember that the war that is in progress is a battle. As you can see, there are days when we lose men, but there are days when we win. Generally, we do not communicate too much since it started. As we say, the purpose of this war is not to kill, but we have no choice. If those who understand lay down their arms and join, we know what we can do for them. Those who do not understand, we have no choice. We have to fight fire by fire. So that's what is there. La réduction du nombre de partis politiques. Je pense qu'il y a une réforme globale en cours. Si nous on ne le fait pas, the reduction of the number of political parties, I think there is a global reform in progress. If we don't do it, it will never be done. I think it's up to you, the decision makers. It's up to you, the young people. It's up to you, the decision makers. We will reform so that I think it should call everyone, so that people can unite and be able to, to develop Burkina. I don't think there are a thousand different ways. There are surely many programs that cross each other. They have to come together to make a single program and have parties, a number of parties. Or, by default, we will elaborate texts with their contests to reduce the number of political parties. That's even the beginning of the cohesion and the union of Burkina. The leaders of the parties have to come together to create something big, to have a clear ideology and to be able to pursue their goals. These reforms are in progress. They will be launched the Prime Minister will convene a consultation for these reforms. Look at my faithful companions. You said, faithful. They are faithful. So don't worry. The particularity between me and my companions is that war is not only bad, war is very good, it unites the fighters. Through the war, we experienced a lot of fire together. We experienced death together several times. It unites much more than anything else. That's the most important thing. So be sure that we experience death together once. That's the strongest link that can exist. What can easily be betrayed is money. We have to be very careful about this. I often have a prayer that I like to do and that I continue to do, especially from my current position, because I often don't understand some people who can't help others. I like to pray and I like to say that if God has to give me one billion, everyone wants money, everyone wants fortune. That's why we try to work. But if God has to give me one billion francs and I can't give 50 million to a young person to help him do something without going out, 
I pray to God that he doesn't give me that billion. Donc je souhaite I je wish souhaite that it's the same for all the youth. Même pour toute la jeunesse que nous ne laissons jamais l'argent prendre le dessus. That we on never let fait. money take over. We are hungry. We are poor. We have everything. But human dignity is worth nothing. So be reassured. If tomorrow you hear that someone gave me this or that, I am able to say, yes, he gave me this and I used it to do this. So I take nothing from that and I pray to God that I can't betray on this. Once it's done, we can do the program we want to do. And I think it will be done. I would like to add that my main concern is that the youth should stay awake because the fight for sovereignty is a fight of the tongue. It's a fight that requires a lot of resistance. You can already see that there are a lot of things. There are words that I don't want to say anymore because I was told not to say them. And I am upset. I don't want to upset anyone anymore because I don't even want to upset anyone. But this fight for sovereignty is committed. And that's all we want to be sovereign. It brings me back to a question to which maybe we can't answer directly. But maybe in the coming hours you will see a certain amount of information about our relations with certain states. And I avec certains états et je le dis ici parce qu'il faut que say it here because we need to reread a lot of texts and i think we already did that yesterday to reread a certain amount of texts about our sovereignty la question de la dernière question portant sur un pays particulier the last question is about a particular country. We want to be sovereign, and I think they themselves said it last time they visited our sovereignty. We are going to take it, so we did all the necessary for that. And I don't want violence, as I said. The youth that is here must get rid of the violence. I wish you all good health so that we can build. And those who don't understand this, find ways and means to prevent them from disturbing you. Be focused on our objective and let's move forward towards our development and towards the sovereignty of our country. That's the most important.